Look at the biggest reindeer. <laughs> oh, don't be fading. Hey, hey, no fading. Oh, they so cute. Good morning. So we out here at this Target right here. You know what I mean? Come on down, ladies. <laughs> Come on down, ladies. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. I guess that's dessert over there. guard your heart the thing you pray for will walk into your life and you'll be upset about it you pray for a mentor and when your mentor came in your life and started correcting you and started giving you wisdom and telling you maybe you shouldn't be in that relationship and maybe you shouldn't go there you start getting upset and saying they don't understand me i don't know if they're called to me i don't know if they discern the callings of my life but the issue is you pray for this you pray for it but because of what you don't understand you got offended by your fulfillment. Does this make sense? This is important because supernatural activity draws offense from all corners. Ask any city, ask any town, any region that's experienced real revival. People get offended. Check out Breeze Airways. It goes many places out here in Rhode Island. Check them out, check them out. Yes, y'all familiar with this place, huh? That's right. This is, this is, this is, this is the airport. Yes, I'm up here early in the morning, taking another flight. I've been on three trips so far, almost every month, you know? They're showing you how Rhode Island is. But you know I had to show y'all some brochures and some travel guides and all these magazines and all this stuff if you ever visit out here. Which I don't know if y'all would or not, but this is just some suggestions of which I should, you know, look up for. Um, Rhode Island is known for sailing. They're known for boats and stuff like that. So that's their, you know, landmark is sailing, fishing, and all that stuff. So all the information is right here. When it comes to the state of Rhode Island, TF Green Airport. But yeah, I'm about to bounce out of here again. And just showing you how beautiful the camera looking this morning. Just showing y'all everything before I get on this TSA. But I tell y'all when I get past TSA, where I'm going. Maybe not. <laughs> It's always good to look at history. History is definitely the beauty of everything because that's how you know about your own, you know, things about culture and everything else from different continents, states, towns, cities, and, you know, who you representing for. That's a little reminder. I finally made it to TSA. Finally made it through TSA. And this is the place that I was telling y'all before, I think, when I first came on, when I was taking flights, the Rhode Island Burger Corporation. I never tried this before, but one day I might. But 
this is like in the beginning, beginning, beginning of, you know, taking planes. But yeah, we, we here, y'all. I don't know if I should go to Duncan this morning or wait till I go to Bojangles when I go to, you know, North Carolina. But that's my first stop, Charlotte, North Carolina. But right now, I got to go to gate number five. That's American Airlines. That's six down there. Bathroom's right here. I've been tired, y'all. But, you know, we're traveling again. I know, man. Traveling again. Traveling again. I've been traveling every month at the end of this month, y'all. End of this month. September around my birthday. October when I went to New York. And now we're going somewhere else at the end of the month. The end of the month. I feel like it's good to, you know... This is like the most travel I ever done this whole year. And I forgot about Pittsburgh in May. So yeah, this is like the most I ever traveled this whole year. Kind of cool, right? Kind of cool, kind of cool, kind of true. But you already know how I got to do my intro. It's time me, gang, 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 gang. What's up? What's going on? What's popping? How y'all doing this morning? Because we are freaking flying out this morning. This is going to be interesting because I'm going to be gone. Not just two days, not this weekend. I'm not going to be just gone for this weekend, but I'm also going to be gone until Wednesday and Thursday. So I'm going to be gone for a good almost a week, you know. Um, I'm going to show y'all my flight out here. What's good? I forgot to end that part with that. <laughs> y'all should know my intros by now. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all the plane, y'all. There it goes. There it go. My American Airlines. Early in the morning, man. The sun not even up yet, but it's about to be. You know what I mean? It's about to be up. But I'm just so happy. Like, you know, I, this is like the most consistent I've been traveling. You know what I mean? Um, traveling is good for the mind. It's good for your heart. And it's good for your, you know. And I can't wait to have my kids to join these adventures with me. Um, had to make sure everything is taken care of. But also, I'm going to meet up with a couple of people and also a friend that I know as well. This person also been. Delta flight 2606 on South Detroit. If you're on this flight, please see us here at ABT. We will be closing doors shortly. That's just an announcer. But, you know, like I was saying, you know, my thought of process went off because of the announcer. Um, it feel good to um, actually travel, you know what I'm saying? Get your mind off a lot of things you're going through. This is the most I've ever been traveling. But yeah, um, I was saying that um, I'm going to meet up with a couple of people that I know from this area. And a person I also know as well. Um, this person also been on my live streams before. And this person had a YouTube channel as well. As consistent as it was. But she been... This person been on my live streams a couple of times. We talked about topics and she made a couple of videos, you know, person made a couple of videos about me and everything. You know, we always got a good connection. So I hopefully will entertain this person very well. So when we get there, but my first stop is Charlotte, North Carolina. So that's where I'm going first. And then after that, we're going to get from Charlotte, North Carolina to our last destination. So I'm not gonna tell y'all until we get to Charlotte, all right? Right now, I'm just waiting on they 
to fix the maintenance and everything is cleared before they get all of us end up playing, you know? But I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm gonna be gone for five, six days. And this is gonna be interesting. Go for Delta 2606, non-stop to Detroit. All ticketed passengers, please make your way immediately to gate 18. Doors will be closing shortly and won't be reopened. Thank you. Whoever's going to Detroit, I've been to Detroit before. I was, I had two layovers at Detroit before, so I've been to Detroit before. But that's, they gotta go to gate 18. That's all the way down there though. That's a long troop. But I'm happy that, you know, I'm here to chat with y'all this morning and I'm, a, I'm probably gonna wait until, you know, should I eat Dunkin'? Right now, I think Dunkin' ain't open right now, but I think it's preparing itself to be open, or I might just wait until I get to Charlotte to get some Bojangles or whatever, you know, available out there. But I might get some Bojangles out there, depending on my mood. I know I'm very, very tired, y'all. I've just been, a lot of things been bouncing with me, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm coming back with these bangers, all right? And I'm also going to be staying at a hotel too. There's no Airbnb as well. I'm going to be staying at a hotel. I ain't going to tell y'all as well until I get to Charlotte. That's going to be the update when I get to Charlotte. When I, you know, rant, we're going to talk about all that stuff. All right. Until then, I hope everybody have a safe, wonderful morning. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm praying for everybody, you know what I mean? And anybody that's shopping on Black Friday, be careful. Y'all know how it gets on Black Friday. Be careful, y'all. Go at a certain time that's going to be needful. So I decided just to get some Dunkin' Donuts instead. I decided to get some Dunkin' because I don't know what time we're going to leave, so... We're about to board right now. We're boarding right now. Yeah, man. I just got on a plane. American Airlines. We're about to head to Charlotte soon. We just have to make sure all the passengers are okay, on the uh, flight. Yeah, good morning. Flight. Yeah, so I just got on my flight heading out of here. You know what I mean? That was the um, plane announcer, um, pilot announcer. So we, you know, make sure everybody's on their flight getting up out of here, you know? We're heading to Charlotte next, but I'm not trying to make too much noise. Is everybody in here? Hopefully everybody's in here. Not missing their flight, but yeah, yeah, got me some Duncan. America runs on Duncan. But next stop is Charlotte. I just got to Charlotte, y'all. I'm over here trying to be on the Hervey because Charlotte is a very, very big airline. So I'm trying to hurry my behind through maneuver. Through and through, I gotta go to um C2. Right now I'm at B3. I was at B5 though, but I know this airline so well. I love coming to Charlotte when the airline is so big, but I know the heck I'm going because I've been here multiple times. So, guide me, but I'm almost there, y'all. I got 28 minutes to be there on my flight leave. And my bag will be out there at my last flight. But yeah, I told y'all when I get here, I'm going to tell you where I'm going. I'm going to Rochester. I'm going to Rochester, upstate New York. So 
that's my destination. See, we out here in Charlotte, y'all. Love Charlotte, man. The airline is so huge. But I ain't trying to get lost. I mean, I'm not lost, but I'm not trying to chat and get caught up. Look at the biggest reindeer. <laughs> but yeah, see, this is Charlotte, man. Whoever knows Charlotte knows how the airline is. It's so pretty, beautiful. Every time I come out here, it just brings so much to light. And they got so much stuff here. And it's so big, you know? And it's raining today. That means it's gonna rain everywhere because in Rochester, it's supposed to rain as well. Sorry if I'm on a quick fast with everything. But yeah, there you go. I wish I could dynamic is showing you. Oh wow, they're putting a burger, they upgrading Burger King over here. But already where I'm at now. If I didn't know this place, my black behind would be in so much trouble if I didn't. But this is where I gotta go to C2. So, every other gate is over here. But thank God, I know the hell I'm going. sure people get to their flights and bags getting their safe and sound I'm praying that my bag is there too because I got my duffel bag
I made it to Rochester, upstate New York. I'm here. Man, I can't believe I am here, y'all. I gotta go to Carousel 4 to get my my duffel bag. That's the only thing I brought with me. I didn't bring no um, book bag with me or nothing like that, but I'm here in Rochester. We in Webster, New York right now. Uno's is right over there. You already know one of my spots. And then, you got this space over there. And then you got Ray Robbins. That's where I'm going right now. Yum. I'm not trying to... Huh? Let's 
See, God is good when you wake up and see nature and then you see the sunrise. Like, come on, man. You, you can't get better than this, man. This is from my hotel room. See this beautiful moment? The geese flocking, flocking this morning. But just knowing, man, the beauty of nature and the beauty of the sunrise is just, this is this is beautiful to me. Like, this is like the moments that you can never, ever, ever regret. And I thank the Lord for the blessings that he given me to get this type of insight. You know, where I live at, I can actually see the sunset, but this hotel room that I'm at is Holiday Inn Express, but gave me a beautiful view to see the sunrise, plus the beautiful of the nature that we got here. So, gotta, gotta love that. You know what I'm saying? Gotta love that. Man. I feel like I'm in heaven. I feel like I'm in heaven this morning, man. Look at this. Man, we got the Quaker oatmeal. The breakfast. Oh, man. This is like heaven to me, man. This is my little cinnamon roll. I might get some eggs and some, maybe some sausage links, but man, it tells you what is what. Tell you what is what. This is my morning breakfast. What I'm eating this morning, y'all. Like I said, this is looking real good. Yeah, she. This is a go ahead pancake, make my day. You got the muffins and bread, toast. And you got the squeeze of the day, water, apple juice, passion orange guava, and orange juice. Man, this just can't be true, man. We're about to go upstairs and have a good time. Yep. We have a Taco Bell. I had to get this. <laughs> this is dope. Hopefully you know what's in here. Jerseys. Lens crafters. I ain't see that in so long. This is so cute. 
if all kids could just sit here and watch this, I'm gonna show them this video too. They're gonna be crying. Daddy, I want a dog. Look at her puppy. Don't do that. It's problem for you. <laughs> I know. Oh. Don't be fading. Hey. Hey. No fading. Oh, they're so cute. He gave us the time. This is the massaging chair. My legs. <laughs> Got three minutes on this, man. Oh, I feel the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's nervous. <laughs> She's nervous. She's doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's my friend, y'all. I be going live streams with her in the past. Yeah, I don't I didn't like that either. That was a weird feeling. That's like, oh no. Oh nah, see? I'm feeling it now. Oh no, 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 not there. I don't know about all that. I'm not uncomfortable with that. Mm. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Would y'all even try this, y'all? Even though it's three minutes. <laughs> Don't do it again. It's just my butt. It's Feel so. For you, you like stuff like that. <laughs> you like stuff like that. I <laughs> this is in. Written in Spanish. And this is. So, this is how much it is if you're trying to get on this. Cheers, you know? So, I got some stuff from Bath and Body Works for men. And we also got stuff from Spencer's. Doing a little shopping out here. here. This is dope, y'all. Upstate Pro Wrestling. They be having wrestling matches in here. For all y'all wrestling, wrestling lovers. I guess this is the name. Flower City Wrestling Academy. And then they have an event coming up. Saturday, December 10th, bell time at 5. So. Dead and Busters and Indy Kart Racing.
consist of. Breakfast of the day. Made from downstairs. Mm, 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 mm. Some Greek yogurt, strawberry. Choco Banana. You got the cinnamon rolls. Look at the eggs. And then you got turkey sausage. And you got my little orange juice, this little old cup. Good morning. Good morning. Just like Wallow. Good morning. So we out here at this Target right here. You know what I mean? Come on down, ladies. <laughs> Come on down, ladies. I know y'all like y'all some your underwear. You know what I mean? Some, you know, bring up, bring a woman to Target. You know what I'm saying? Bring that woman to Target. You know what I'm saying? We we right, right. bringing a lot of people down here. <laughs> <laughs> Wallow had me rolling <laughs> and give me something else. But yeah, we had Target, y'all. I had to <laughs> bring that up there. I had to bring that up, y'all. But <laughs> we we out here. We out here, y'all. We out here shopping, man. But on the men's section. And guess what I ran into? Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Got some stuff in here, though. Some stuff they have. It goes to Buffalo Sabers. Guys, the Buffalo Bill stuff. Princess of Power. Buffalo Bills. Syracuse Orange. I'm trying to look for some pajamas. But I don't know what they could be. I don't not familiar with this type of target. I want to get something like these. This is marble, marble pants for like pajamas or something. But I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Like, huh? Why would I have to put these shorts up? Man, these is mannequins. I ain't no freaking Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> taking mannequins home. This is inappropriate, y'all. Don't be like Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Don't be like him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. He took a man, <laughs> mannequin home for his sexual pr preference. It says, "Good fellow, fellow, good fellow." And he got the slippers. Uh, 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 uh. There goes the Grinch. He's a mean one. Mr. Grinch. He's evil as an eel. No, I'm playing. I'm just having a good old time this morning. Don't mind me. Got some little fuzzy bah, sock slippers or whatever you want to call them. But this is our good fellow corporate pajamas and slippers, all right?
seated. Be out here. Who knows? Fresh out the shower, y'all. I'm fresh out the shower. So family members is on. You know, this is how I'm looking now before I get up out of here. Um, breakfast is at 7. The, my flight comes around um, 11 something, but it takes off at 12.07. I had an alert on my phone, you know. I had an alert on my phone. Telling me that um, because of the severe weather um, today is, I guess, like heavy showers or not heavy rain, but like modern rain to gusty, um, strong winds today. So I'm getting to the airport early because I don't want to take no chances. I also hung up with a couple of other friends as well. Went out to breakfast and everything, but I was hanging out with the person that um, I did the collab with. It wasn't a collab, but it was just a chit chat with, um, I was hanging out with her because she's been, she was there since day one, since I started this YouTube stuff. Um, literally, I had no um, videos, but I had a little bit of subscribers. I think it was like a, a couple of, I think a hundred and something subscribers that I had, so yeah, she's on the um the chit chat with me as I was trying to um Buffalo Wild Wings. We did a lot of stuff, you know, as well together. We saw um Wakanda forever. We went to see Devotion, that other movie, Devotion as well. We we seen we went to Uno's. We went to, you know, I mean, we did we, we did a lot of things that we cut up, you know, catching up on things. And I was able to spend time with her as well and a couple of other people. So we went out to breakfast to some um, restaurant out here in um, Rochester. I also got um, drove around Rochester, too. I got drove around in Rochester and shown the inner boroughs and out, you know, seeing how, how it goes. It goes from a city to... The suburbs, it looks different, like we in the woods, and it was just beautiful just seeing the whole scenario, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the whole scenery. It was good to see the whole scenery and enjoying myself, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just glad that now it's time to head up out of here. I know that you wish you could stay longer. I wish you, you wish you could be like, dang, but yeah, it's time to go back to reality, you know what I'm saying? Um, my next clip... It's going to be going to the airport or being at the airport, maybe showing, you know, my friend, you know, that I've been kicking with, you know, mostly than the other friends for the last time. And the, like, the, that's the one that was on the, um, that's the one that was on the, what you call it, the Buffalo Wild Wings. So we went to five guys. We, we did a lot of crazy stuff, you know, while we was here as well. So. Had to, you know, had to show up, you know, when it's your day one, been supporting you and, you know, seeing the grind, how I've been doing this since I've been first starting this. You have to, you know, appreciate that because that definitely don't come often. That doesn't come often. So I'm glad that I was able to experience that with her and, you know, some other people that I wanted to go see as well. So shout outs to you. And like I said, the next clip is going to be me at the airport. <sighs> I'm happy. Hope you enjoying this vlog. Driving, I'm driving, driving, driving we'll, to we'll the port. So you can airport. We'll break that down. Before I go to work. Yeah, before oh, you go to work. Exactly. Any last Good words point. to say? All right, so let's go. Let's let's get into it. Any last um, words to say? S&P down, man. And honestly, Your camera is nice. we look at two of the stocks that dragged the S&P today. It was an advanced part. Let me Fastenal. take a picture. So fast and all the company that I've liked for such a long time. Huh? They make the, uh, yeah. the nuts and bolts. 
Yeah, you last word. I'm tired. I ain't sleep. <laughs> a long time. Uh, these kids about to give us hell. I like they boring. No. But I'm about to have fun. I got into that stock. I was in the construction business. I realized that yo, these people. I'm, I'm, going to to Welcome. I'm glad I was stadium. able to be here. You talking about the movie? We had two million nuts. Oh yeah, two million Wakanda. Million Forever. All of them came from the first one is better. And I started looking up that yeah, that's what I said to her last yesterday. I, I give it a 50, you know, half and half. Let's go. <laughs> so one of the things I want to no, fit, you know, five out of ten. Whoa, go. come go. on, idiot. He just popped up. Yeah, and he was just sitting there. He popped out, then sitting there. He probably thought he was going to run into him. I would have let him know. Oh, man. But yeah, 50. Oh, that's your... Huh? That's the thing you show telling me. What? Last time you showed me around that place. What place? That place. The school? Yeah. yeah. There's little ones and big ones. Yeah. That's what, I don't know the names of the schools. Like the actual names. Yeah. It's little ones and big ones. My last journey. Nah, you did tell me that. I was like, at first I was like, huh, what you mean? But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, you did tell me that. You was supposed to say, look at Wegmans. You never been. Yeah, I know. I suppose I went to Wegmans. That's your fault. <laughs> Not really. You right by a Wegmans. You said I could have just went in there? Yeah. That's not my fault. I mean, next time I will go to Wegmans. When I'm here again, next time. Ain't no, so it's no Wegmans where you at? No. It's a Wegmans in New York City where you go. That's New York City. But it's still a Wegmans. That's our oh. Wegmans. Um, it's not a lot. Maybe like one. It's still a Wegmans. It's a bunch of Wegmans. Wegmans is like it's from the Wegmans family. Mm. They gotta, they just put one, what, in Brooklyn, I think? Right. I hope they sub there as good as the ones here.
So I'm at the port, y'all. I'm at the port. Whew. This has been the travel. Travel. Yeah, we gave each other hugs and, you know, hopefully we see each other next time. Um, chat it up, talk about some stuff we might do, you know, probably in the next few months to come. Not now. Probably like in another five to six months, seven months from now. But, you know. Um, I appreciate her for driving me to the airport. It's kind of dead in here. It's like literally dead in this airport. Like, I never went to an airport this dead in my life. <laughs> Rochester. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's so quiet. It's good, but at the same time, it's scary because you never expect what's going to happen. But um, I don't know. I might um kick it going up the stairs. Um, I probably sit down because I don't have to get in until eleven. So I might just kick it down here for a good, you know, nine something. Matter of fact, I might stick down here to like ten. Because um, at least I'm at the airport. I don't want to, you know, travel too far out. Sorry, I don't want to travel too far out. So I might just, just stick here for a while. Um, my flight is at, you know, it takes off at 12.07. But at the same time, um, we might get on like around 11 something on the plane. So because of the winds and all that stuff, I don't feel the winds yet. But I feel like it's going to come. You know, it says around 12. 12, 1 o'clock, the wind should be picking up. So that's the time that, you know, 12, I'll be in the air, but I'm be praying. And again, I'm on my way back home to Providence, you know, back to reality. See y'all later. I'm going to be kicking it here for a while until I get the TSA. Gotta go this way. Eight A eight. This is B over here. TSA. Man. Oh. About to get ready to get on this plane. About to get ready to get on this plane, y'all. So I'm heading to Washington DC before I head home. Washington DC is the next departure before I get home. I don't know how long is the layover there, but I'll be keep y'all updated. About to fly out, man. About to fly out of here.
DC, we in DC, y'all. We in DC. First time in Washington, DC. So I have to go to have to go to E. E. This is the first time being in Washington, DC. But you know it got everything. It looks like it got everything here. For the most part. This is a big old airport, bro. Big ass airport. This is cool. This is cool, bro. This is cool. Look at that big old Christmas tree. Check the lay. Chick fil A. I got me some Chick fil A, y'all. Had to grab some Chick fil A on the go before I get on this plate. Heading to my gate number now. On my last flight going home from Washington, D.C. Man, that turbulence. When I was coming from Rochester all the way to D.C., man, everybody was bugging out, bro. Man, turbulence was going on 
in the air for at least three to five minutes, yo. My heart was beating mad fast and my anxiety was just tripping, so I'm about to head on this flight home, y'all. Pray for me. Just sitting here thinking, right? And then this word just dropped in my spirit. I think I should share it with y'all. So, you know how sometimes we call our kids and they don't answer us? And you be like, I know you hear me. And they sit here and just keep on ignoring us. And then we call them again. But this time we're louder because we don't want it to be any discrepancy as to why is you didn't hear me right so we'll call our children and say hey da, da, da. but they're so engulfed in what they're doing okay that they don't want to hear what we're saying and it's not so they don't hear us they hear us but we're they're tuning us out right so the more and more they tune us out the more and more irritate we may become sometimes Okay, now hear me. So sometimes they tune us out. Now ask yourself, how many times has God called you? <laughs> how many times has God called you and you tuned God out because you didn't want to hear what he was saying at the time because you were so busy wanting to walk in your own path and to walk in your own shoes that you said, I hear you God, but guess what? I'm going to ignore you for a second because I'm still going to do what I want to do while I want to do it. But you know, it's coming to a point where God's getting tired of calling you and God's not going to call you any longer. 
And God's going to allow you to walk in that path that you choose to walk in because you tuned him out. So with that being said, it's time for us to stop tuning out God. You better respond when he calls you. Because if you don't respond when he calls you, it may be too late. So with that, I'll leave y'all with a good day. <laughs> and a blessed life. But y'all better open your ears. But that thing's full of my spirit. How many times have you tuned God out? Because you didn't want to hear. Because you want to do what you wanted to do. Mm -mm. Just remind me to never ever ever travel when it's raining and windy like that through tur turbulence man Whew. felt like a brother about to have a heart attack this is why i you know i can't do be in the air like that my go-to i'll take a bus or a train but the plane is not my go-to unless it's, it's necessary and it's needed it's the only time you will see me on the plane when it's needed. Other than that, I don't mind taking planes because I'm not scared of the air. But that's just a reminder. I wish I could have recorded when we was on that turbulence, man. Kind of scary, man. But I made it. We all made it out alive. Especially, we don't want to go from... Um, Rochester all the way from Rochester to um to Washington DC man three to five minutes that turbulence was just making you feel like it's about to crash and everybody just panicking worrying I was over here praying to Jesus for real for real for real just making sure everybody is safe but I gotta head home and I gotta make sure you know, my babies is okay because I had to check on them. And my daughter got sick yesterday. And my baby son, he got sick overnight last night. So I got to check on him. And my oldest son, he went to school. So as soon as I get my bag, drop this off, you know, I'm going straight to them, you know, making sure the babies, my babies is all right. It's taking care of business. But I thank God that we all made it back in one piece. That's all one piece. Just getting my bag ready to go. And I'm gonna check it right now on this thing. And if you got like, you know, America's, America Airlines, they'll tell you right here. Just gotta look at the numbers for your stuff. And you will find it over time. But God is good, God is great. But I gotta figure out where it's my it's gonna be at. I think it's over here. But I'm glad I made it back to Rhode Island safe, man. Yeah, I already know what it is. I wish I could keep recording, but I'm gonna have to end it right here because my phone is very, very low. My charger, so. I think this is to Washington DC right here, I believe. Yeah. To Washington DC right here. So I thank God man for y'all. You know the Tile Me Gang family. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all already know it's Tile Me Gang, 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 gang. And we signing out. I appreciate y'all very, very much for tuning in. This is a crazy vlog, but I had a wonderful, wonderful time. Now it's time to go home and get back to reality. And it was cool to meet up with a couple of friends. You know what I mean? A couple of friends that I chilled with back then that live out there in Rochester. And also Tamara as well. Shout outs to you. Um, I'm glad I was able to spend some more time with you as well and you know you've been you've been down for me since I made this YouTube joint so you know what I mean I had no videos 
little bit subscribers, but now, I mean, you're a real one for that. And I had to come out there, you know what I'm saying? To show love and y'all showing me the city, you know, around Rochester and the inner and outer suburbs around the area. So it's cool, you know what I mean? Five, five days, six nights, you know? So I'm, I'm grateful for that. But gotta go, I'm just waiting for my luggage. I don't know how long I have to wait, but uh, I'm just being grateful and I'm just being humble that God got us home, got here safe, man. We could have, something could have really went down if, if didn't turn around for the better, but be true to yourself, man. Be the recipe to your own masterpiece. Be the recipe to your own masterpiece. Be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Don't let nobody fool you on doing something you don't want to do, all right? I'm telling y'all, man, from experience, you don't love yourself, look yourself in the mirror, heal properly. But I got to go. I love y'all all. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday and, you know, around family and friends and people that y'all really thankful for because... Nowadays, nobody is thankful nowadays, but for the people that's all thankful, for the people around them, God bless y'all, man. Because if it wasn't for those people, it would have never been nothing to exist. So, you got to thank people. You got to thank the people around you because they ain't had to do half of the stuff they do for you. So, got to be thankful for that. So don't be thinking about, I'm thankful for the fool. <laughs> That's all I hear every year. I'm thankful for the food. But if it wasn't for these people who's still alive, you wouldn't have these food. Now a lot of people have, you know, families to go home to to celebrate stuff like this. So you gotta cherish that, you know what I mean? Or even thinking about you. So be humble. Understand that. Well, I gotta go. Wait for my bag. Peace. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the boy. What are y'all waiting for? Peace. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We back with another morning of the lesson, of the session. And we're going to talk about why women don't know a man's